Okay, welcome back. Today I did start mining Victorium with my CPUs uh, about 12 plus hours in just to see what the hubbub is about. Because I did notice on Zergpool that it was a profitable algorithm. What, I'm, what do I mean by that? Okay, it's the Ghost Rider algorithm. So what do I do? There's Victorium. You can say, okay, it's mined on Zergpool. You can go to zergpool.com or any pool mostly and they'll have pool stats. Uh, what they have here, you'll see CPU, GPU, ASIC, FFPG, or whatever. And you can go down, oh, they're hot. Which algorithms are currently hot? And you go, hey, all right, which, coin, which coins are hot? Well, this is no longer hot. This was hot yesterday and a couple days before. I was like, why is this? Because it is Raptorium. So if you click on it, Ghost Rider, you'll get the list of coins that use the Ghost Rider algorithm. All right, look at that. Uh, Bitorium is up there. Raptorium, of course, the leader of the pact. Uh, the original, I think, uh, Bitorium is a fork off of Raptorium. Who knows? It's brand new. Nobody knows. It's pure speculation. Is It is exchanged on the Exbitron uh, exchange. Yeah. So here you can see the profit, 0 0.008. Raptorium is 0 0.003. And you get an idea, like, oh, maybe I should mine this. So you can go look, go back to Bitorium. And you can say, oh, what's going on with the hash rate? Oh, of course, everyone is finding out about it. It's a new coin. Uh, YouTubes, are, uh, YouTubers, the YouTubes on the interwebs, the webses are making videos about it. And, you know, any, any way to get money is always going to be content worthy because people want to know. I think the trick with this coin is to mine it and dump it. I don't know about holding it. I don't know enough. I'm an idiot. Again, YouTube. People do not listen to people on YouTube. No one's qualified to give advice on anything. Uh, it's all for entertainment, guys. But yeah, I don't know. Do you, buy, do you mine it and dump it? I don't know. Depends how much you can mine. Is it worth dumping and get a couple bucks? Who knows? I don't know. It's all for hobby. It's all for speculation. So here we have the difficulty uh, level at 0 0.22 right now. And uh, let's see, a little bit ago on April 21st, let's say about April 20, it was 0.16. So it's doubled in the past week or so. All right. Uh, so you go to Zerg pool. I am on the Zerg pool. I've got, I moved, I moved the bulk of the rigs over just to see how this would work to see if I actually got a payout. Uh, I got six miners running 35th. Oh, wait, what are they called? 3950s, 3900X, all Ryzen nines. Of course, I'm finding them cheaper on eBay. Now, if you're looking for Ryzen nines, go to eBay, look for the auctions. Do not bid right away, but set the price you would be willing to pay and just put that in. You may not pay that, but you'll pay the highest bid. You know what I mean? If you set 400 bucks, the last bid is 300. You'll probably pay 305 unless someone pays, uh, outbid you by 405. You see how it works. Anyway, they are being cheaper. Point is they are getting cheaper on eBay to get some of these Ryzen 9s used or new or open box. Big deal. It's hard to screw up a CPU. Uh, so here we are looking at Zergi Pool. And I'm about 99% complete with my balance. I have not been paid yet. In under, I'm going to say, let's see, when did I start mining? Oh, my God. Let's go to the end of this page. Oh, really? 16 hours ago, I think I turned one or two rigs on. You can see the hash rate here. 15, 20. All right. I was mining Varus coin, too. Don't mind that. Uh, let me see my coins as well. There's a payout. That's what that noise was. That was a Raptorium payout from oh my god supernova yeah so for the past 16 hours i have collected about 3300 and maybe with adding the 900 here yeah about 3332 victorium and have not yet gotten paid out so that's where i'm at uh i am shared money i'm not solo mining because i don't want to wait around i just want to see what i can collect right away on the ghost rider algorithm getting paid out in BitTorium. You can see my setup on SRB Miner. On the password you set, the coin to be paid out is Bit BitTorium. You need to have a BitTorium wallet address set up and you download the BitTorium wallet from their site. Here's the mining coin is BitTorium. You could probably mine a more profitable coin on this exchange and convert it to BitTorium. I don't know, you can play around with that. I did try Vera's coin but I was still seeing I was getting better results with Victorium. Again, I didn't let it run long. It was just a quick test. And yeah, I should have done it longer. May I'll go back and try that. So on the Victorium site, you can go get the wallet right here, download it, and I already put it installed. 
and it's the QT, based on the old QT wallets right there. I got nothing in it. It takes a little bit for it to sync up with the blocks, uh, all the blocks on the, the network. So it didn't take us long, but it, it took a few hours, I think. Uh, so it's now sitting here waiting to receive yummy Victorium. Once I get that, uh, I don't know, maybe I'll sell it. But what's it trading at? It was up, and that's what caught my eye. And then I see other YouTubers making videos on it. It caught my eye that this coin was jumping up, and it was up 30% yesterday. I went, what is this? And I saw it first on this guy, on Victorium, on the, uh, why the thing's not loading right now. Hold on a sec, let's reload the page. And I saw it on uh, Mining Pool Stats. I said, oh, this thing's cranking up. It's not reporting right now for some reason. Oh, well. Uh, but over here, and then I went to the Expitron, and I set up an account for some other coins the other week, and I already had it set up. And I came in here and said, all right, let's just watch this thing. This is the, uh, what is it, Victorium to USDT stablecoin, which pretty much matches the US dollar. Uh, and we're about, what, 0 0.0011, so 0012. I think I did saw, see uh, 0 0.0012 earlier. And I wonder if we can go back in time. This is the 15-minute chart. Let's go back uh, three days. Holy mackerel, it's hard to read this thing. So it's only been out since what? 13 April, a couple weeks? Does that sound about right? Uh, and uh, you can see the highest kind of peaky spike here on the candle. Oh, my God, I'm reading charts. I'm doing something I thought I would never do. I'm so sorry. Anyway, this gives you an idea of history. I'm not one of these YouTube guys going, well, here's the trend analysis on the signal curve variance that's going to make it go higher in a year. I don't give a crap. Charts are only good to show you what happened in the past. There is no indication of future performance, and those guys drive me nuts. And then I point that out, and they get mad at me for saying, you know, stop doing that. <laughs> stop doing a tarot card reading on these charts. This, to me, is just showing what it was in the past, uh, 0.0014. Uh, let's see, 0.012. So yeah, about right there. That's where it's hovering. So nothing outlandish. Again, it's a new coin. Uh, do what you want with it. Is it a scam coin? I have no idea. It's all speculation, but I figure it's worth a couple bucks to give it a shot, just to experiment. Because if you don't give it a try and feel a little bit of pain and getting burnt or feeling a little bit of joy, don't be a hit if you actually make a few bucks, then you'll never learn. If you just sit back and watch and never participate, you're not going to learn anything, guys. How do you start? Just do something. You know what I mean? Move. Do something. Don't just sit there consuming YouTube videos and become a vegetable. I was in that trap for a while. You just got to get off your big old butt and uh, go do something. When you are para uh, paralyzed by inaction, overanalysis, the best thing to do is do something. It uh, doesn't matter what it is. Go dig a hole in the backyard, you know, but don't cut a cable when you're digging. Um, yeah. All right. So there we're, there is where we are at. We are mining Victorium and uh, on the Zerg pulley and I'm getting weight, uh, getting ready for a payout and we'll see. I was hoping it would do it while I was making this video. Blah, blah, blah. Come on, big money, big money, big money. No, no payout yet. So that's where we are at. I really want to go back to Raptorium because I, I just, I want to, I don't know. I want to stack. Coin. I have a mission. I want to get a certain amount of Pulsar coin. And I did, and it's staking. Uh, now I want to go back and beef up my uh, Raptorium on the iNode Z smart nodes just to have it, just to start getting ready in case this thing ever takes off in two years again. Uh, BitTorium, I might be a quick purchase thing, you know, cash out and get five bucks. So at this, at these numbers, I estimate with my six rigs, these are all 3,900Xs and one is a 3,950. With these six rigs, I'm getting about six bucks if I sold. Ah, uh, let's see. Is that right? I'm an idiot. Hold on. Public math. Never do public math. Life lesson. And I'm doing it. I did two things. I almost did a trend analysis on a chart. Never. I'm sorry. And I almost did public math. Holy crap. What's wrong with me? So let's just say 3,400. Oh, it's only... I'm going to say for the day. I estimate I would get like, uh, let's see, 26... I assume I get that in a day based on the, the 12 hour mark. And we can do 5,200 times 0 0.001. I round up because I like rounding up. How many zeros? Oh, I'm an idiot. See, don't do public math or don't use calculators in public. 
point zero zero one two, and that gives me da 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 six twenty four, not counting electricity uh, divided by I make what a buck a day per rig, yeah, woohoo! So my circles you see I'm making under a buck let's say a day per rig mining this coin. Um, but if you have six bucks times 30, 180 a month. Yeah. All right. And that is maybe less with, like you said, with electricity, but again, CPUs, motherboards do not take a lot of Watts compared to, uh, GPUs. All right. That's all I got guys. I just wanted to share what I'm mining. Mining BitTorrent, a lot of people are talking about it now. It's coming up on some CPU mining channels. That's all great and good. Uh, the problem is everyone will flock to it. And, of course, as we see here, the uh, difficulty rate will go up. And the secret sauce and all this stuff is you go to mine where other people are not mining. You want to go where the low difficulty is so you get more uh, more of those coins in your wallet. That's my attitude. Stack, 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 stack. I don't need this these coins to pay bills. I'm doing it to stack and have lots of bags of coins, lots of wallets everywhere. Bum, 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 Victorium. Victorium. Again, the price is not updating. Oh, you can see on Zergpool, things are inching up. Look at that. The hash, seven-day history on the hash rate is going up. Oh, that one spiked on our plant. Boy, people jumped on that thing. All right, so yeah, I'm going to get my payout and jump back to Raptorium. I want to go where the people are not mining. That's my philosophy right now. I'm out. That's all I got. Take care, guys. Thanks for watching.